Welcome back guys to Trails in the Sky the Third, where last episode we found Stardor 15 within the Abyss, a memory aptly located in Gehenna, as we viewed Ren's tragic past. Reaching the end of the labyrinth, we fought a nearly never-ending battle against a group of Poms led by the Tempest Pom, now able to forge the best weaponry we head to complete the final doors. Now let's go for another Star Door, because we now have access to Star Door 14. What is this? The final door. All is one and one is all. All begins with one and in the end it returns to one. Only when you have released all of the other doors shall this one open. Open the door. Shall grant you a memory fragment and my blessing. Witnessing the events at the end of second chapter, is it going to expand upon them? Indeed it is! Hello! Hey, Blue Blanc. Now just stand there, just say something. <laughs> Why should I be the one to break the silence? Words have no meaning in the face of such a splendorous sight. All there is for us to do is to be overwhelmed and awed by the spectacle before us. Ah. The others still haven't come back either. Kind of crummy ending to this whole shtick, huh? Ren left the city and has since departed this region. Luciola is missing, but no good can come from us fretting for her safety. Hmm. Oh, no worries on that front. Just thinking it'd be a waste for a woman like her to die so early. So you know, he was hoping she didn't lose her life for nothing. Hmm. I quite agree. As for Louis, I fear the odds of him making that alive are non-existent. Yeah. Damn it. If I'd known this was going to happen, I would have made, finally made him fight me. He was always finding excuses to get out of it. Well, like us, he had a clear and specific purpose for taking part in all of this. And looks like he may well have been able to achieve it at that. Though he met his end, I have an inkling that he at least is satisfied by the ending to the story. Yeah. Hard to believe it's all over. Hmm. 
What? What's happening? I thought we were going to use that floating city to roll the bill. Then we were going to use it to roll the whole continent. So why is this happening? This was supposed to happen. Wait, did anyone ever actually say we were going to do that? Or was I just thinking it on my own? I was, wasn't I? Ah! I hate my life. All I seem to do is get humiliated by them and abused by Lord Campanella lately. And then to top it all off, this happens? I, I, I... Just what have we all been doing? Lord Campanella, I'm relieved to see you well, sir. Mm -hmm. Same to you, fine gentlemen. I'm thoroughly impressed with your work ethic. It may take guts to dedicate yourself to your duty even at a time like this. You should see what's happening outside. It's a sight to see, you know. All the mirror in the world can buy you tickets to see a show this incredible. You're not too late to check out the show if you head out now. Why not go take a peek? I won't tattle. We can possibly. We wouldn't dream of abandoning our post without permission. I suppose you wouldn't have the training you've been through. Why not, madam? Now, mind let me inside. I've got something I need to take care of in the sanctuary, you see. Sir? B but we've been ordered not to let anyone inside without the professor's permission. Even you, Lord Cabanella. He's as dead as you'll be if you won't let me through. I don't think even I can get a dead man's permission now, can I? What? But that's just not possible. Oh dear. Is my word worth that little to you? I'm hurt. Maybe I should have a little fun with you, like I always do with darling Gilbert. That might make you a little more inclined to have more faith in me. I, I, we weren't... Uh, we never once doubted your words, so you need not trouble yourself on our behalf. That's lovely to hear. Well then, why don't you go outside and watch the show like I suggested? You're under no obligation to guard this place now that the man who ordered you to do so is no more. Gladly, sir. G good luck with your business, sir. They may have served their purpose now, but it seems a terrible waste to steal their memories and toss them out like garbage. Maybe I should put them under my command. Even all the noise going on outside can't reach this far inside the ship by the looks of it. This as well, I can fulfill my role otherwise. Requesting access. I, Enforcer number zero, Campanella the Fool, hereby request access to the celestial globe in place of the third Anguis, Jorg Wiseman. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> Already here, I see. That's a lot of anguishes. I certainly never envisioned that the faces would perish. Poor thing, all the trouble he caused his old friends finally caught up with him. So how exactly did he die? I'm simply dying to know. Oh, I wish you could have seen it. The poor fellow was turned completely to salt from the top of his head to the tips of his toes. Then it all came crumbling down into itty bitty pieces. Oh my, what a chilling way to go. I wish I could have been there to witness it for myself. So he fell victim to the result of that singularity in North Ambria, did he? Ah, I would have loved to have seen the real thing when it first appeared. You'd have seen that coming. That guy never seemed to let his guard down, even for a second. I imagine with the work of Dominion. Almost certainly the fifth. The position everyone previously believed to be vacant. Alright, guess that explains why he screwed up. So what's the fifth Dominion's name then? Kevin Graham. He calls himself the Heretic Hunter. 
and he studied under the one and only Carnelia. Hmm, seemed like a real ride too, twisted in all the right places. He's studying under Carnelia now, now I'm even more interested in him. You've got to be kidding me, Abyss. After how into Linhart you were, you're not even going to mourn his loss for more than a second while setting your eyes on a new guy. Oh my, you've got me all wrong. I assure you that I'm mourning Leon's death in my own way. He's not a man I'll likely ever forget, especially as I could never get him to show even the slightest hint of interest in me to the very end. Indeed, he truly was a skilled swordsman. His loss will be keenly felt. He was the only one among the enforcers who was able to cross plays with you, I believe. Certainly of those I have fought against. I often asked him to humor me with training. I always felt as though there was a chance he may surpass me as a swordsman one day. It makes knowing he lost his life before having a chance that much more difficult to bear. <laughs> In my opinion, the loss of the Blade Lord isn't all that significant when you look at the bigger picture. A tiny predictable loss in our overall combat capabilities. Now the loss of the Angel of Slaughter will have much more of a long-term impact. Hmm, another chip with a scythe. I wonder if she'll come back in the end. She seemed pretty confused. That's a decision for her and her own loan to make. We may be above them in the Ouroboros hierarchy, but that doesn't give us the right to order them around. That is the way of the society. Still, Professor, all of us here are well aware of the importance of the Gordius series. But this is a law decided by the Grandmaster. Surely you are aware of what that means? You only need to look at Wiseman's obsession with that black-haired boy to see what can come from being too fixated on someone. Indeed, that very obsession proved to be his undoing. Isn't that right, Campanella? You could definitely argue it was one of the factors that led to his failure, yes. Kevin seemed like he was trying to use it to his advantage, too. Alright, alright, I'll drop the issue. I know that as long as the 13 factories in my care, the Gordius series will be of unparalleled importance to me. So I'll be keeping an eye on her from here on to deserve how well, or observe, how well the one she has is functioning. Certainly, we'll leave that to you. I believe we talked for long enough. The time has come for the Grandmaster's advent. Is that so? <laughs> How thrilling. you have all gathered. Yes, Grandmaster. With the exception of the third Angus, all are present and accounted for. Very good. You deserve my thanks for observing all that transpired as my representative, Campanella. I'm pleased to hear as much, Grandmaster. I imagine you were already aware of what transpired during the Gospel Plan, even without me relaying the details? But allow me to fulfill my most important duty. Oh my! So that's... that's the only hole! Thank you. If only the price we paid to obtain it weren't so great. Weizmann, Leonhardt, say nothing of the countless other sacrifices, both human and otherwise, that arose through this plan. I and I alone bear responsibility for each and every one of them. That is simply not true. Please do not place the burden of blame upon yourself. The faces alone was at thought for his death. But if anyone should take the blame, it's we and Greece who choose to overlook his behavior rather than steer him back on the right track. No, I half expected that this is what would happen. And I chose to leave all of the decisions in his hands. I did so because I believed it to be necessary for this world. But nonetheless, the blame is unequivocally mine. Oh, Grandmaster. Why must you blame yourself so? There will inevitably be a reaction to what has happened in time. But I imagine the church will act regarding that. Let us leave the matter to them. As you wish. Hm. I must admit that my curiosity has peaked, but it shall be as you desire. In that case, what should all of us do now? The bells in the west have rang and the first pact applies no more. I hereby proclaim the completion of the first phase of the Orpheus' final plan, the Gospel Plan, and the initiation of its second phase, the Phantasmal Blaze Plan. Very well. Huh? <laughs> Leave everything to us. We, your loyal Angus, in accordance with your wishes, 
shall now fully devote ourselves to the execution of your plan. So it's time for the Phantasmal Blaze plan to begin, huh? The stage is set at the very least. It's going to utterly dwarf the Gospel plan in terms of both quality and scale. <laughs> Things are finally about to get interesting. By the way, I might be the last person you want to hear this from, but... Would you mind stopping the whole peeping in thing, mysterious stranger? No, fourth breaker. Side story, Phantasmal Blaze has finished. <laughs> Campanella pool, eh? A brilliant crown has been received and 30k in mirror. Alright, what is a brilliant crown? It is, prevents Elmas to stat down various stats up. I don't even know what all these things are. Is that the same as the Grail lock Locket? Locket is all of normal status. That prevents ailments and stat now. What the hell is the difference? Of course I'd want the one that gives me that and then all those stats too. Right, so the only thing we've got left before we really go to the final is, of course, Sundor Free's final thing. We've got an invitation. Uh... What counts as an ailment and what doesn't? What I don't get. Elements like fat or small or stat. You know, there's stat down and there's the stats themselves. There's poison and all that. Hmm. The thing is also, it does boost a hell of a lot of stats. If I'm gonna make you, shall I make you full physical? I'll give you that maybe. Oh my god, look at his speed with that. And giving that to Ren for extra speed probably isn't bad, I don't know. Busts the ATS quite a bit as well, after all. Weirdly enough, if I take that off him, he only loses 100 strength. So Tiger Heart ain't that great when you think about the fact it might buff all his other stuff. Oh, let's just make super fast Joshua now. Super duper fast Joshua is ready. Alright, where to now? Oh, we know where we're headed. Into an arena. The last location we have thus far. Alright, everyone should be geared up and ready to go. We have 200 CP. We have our best party ready to find out what's inside. Another difficulty! Ah, good day, it's nice to see you. So would you like to participate again? Oh, is that an invitation I see? Could I trouble you to hand it over? Tournament invitation was carefully inspected. Thank you. You may now challenge the Nightmare Arena whenever you see fit. Well, what would you prefer to do now? Lower the difficulty too easy? God. Splendid! Well then, if you don't mind following me. Feel the sting of the Swordmaster's blade! Ah, here we go again. Let's do this. What if Doom's door unleashes 30 new doors? No thank you. Oh, what the hell? General Morgan hits hard! It's now the moment you've all been waiting for! Tonight, four new warriors will be stepping up to the plate and challenging the Nightmare Arena! So let's get right to introducing our fierce fighters, shall we? In the blue corner, we are led by Father Kevin Graham of the Septine Church's Glasrider. Standing against them in the red corner, we have the aged defenders of the Duke, Team Old Tuffies. 
Let the first round begin! Who do I eliminate first? They've probably got two S-Crafts at least. Step on up and ready your weapons, because we know someone's got an S-Craft. Ready? Fight! Is this that cry for me? <laughs> Dunan is unarmed but aids those who serve him. Doesn't he give like... Kill Dunan! Kill Dunan! I've remembered the terrors that he has. He gives... Plus attack buffs. To guys. That is worry. Who shall I use for this critical? Joshua? No. Let's use Kevin. No? Who do I use? I could use Ren for it. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have done that when I think about it now. I want to set up. What's the best way to do this here? I guess I'll have to steal it, because who knows what they might do. I was wondering if I should use Grail Sphere, but of course I, I probably want to just keep my stuff on at the moment. Take that. Let's go with Kevin, and let's go with standard stuff at the moment. So we'll go with... We'll increase our defense and strength so we can do even more damage. And then we'll go with Gaia Shields until we've taken some of them down, I guess. General Morgan with a critical. Right. We know that Richard will take that critical when he starts using his grass. Oh, I didn't kill Dunan in SV, did I? I killed him later on. Now, I'm like, fearful. I'm fearful because, obviously, it's an arena fight, so I must have to kill everyone. Ah, oh, faint! Oh, no, that critical's gonna go to someone else! <laughs> Me! Still. Guess always look on the bright side of life, yeah? Big defense buffs. Josh was on the critical. We could just nuke everyone with like his critical and they would probably all go down. To be fair. Where's Fate? Can I reach? You're kidding, I can't. She's just going to be there for ages. See, here's my problem. Should I nuke this? Or not, based on other factors? I might want to keep my CP with Joshua. For something truly dangerous. They're all going for Richard? Well, that's kind of okay. Oh my god, they're all missing Richard! Oh, he's healing? That's no good. Let's see if I can debuff these guys then with Calamitous Blast. They're all right next to each other, it's beautiful. I know Clock Down would work on them, would it? If it does, then we probably got things in the bag. We're just going to chase down Duke Denan now. Oh, the ADF downs the clock down might work too. Alright, they made you faint, so you make him faint. Oh! A deadly attack. Actually works. Now they've got their stats down, now we can just 
zooped them with other things, right? I think that should kill Dunan. So I guess we're moving on to some other targets now. We'll just knock him out of the circle. Now we're done. Justin! Beautiful. And a critical again. Now they're going to use S-Crash sometimes. Or to none. Cause it's ah uh, ah. Uh. Here we go. It's an ace on a tablet. Look at that swiping skill. I don't think we saw how much damage it did before. He shattered him. But I'm still alive. My wheel isn't going to hit anymore. Actually, I should attack you, should I? I should attack the other guy when I think about it. Yeah, do that. Don't knock Morgan out of the circle. And life will be good. He's all slow. He's all sluggish. Who's going first? I'm guessing we should be pulling them to there. So if I do that here. That will work, right? To hit them both. We can get all kinds of debuffs on him. I think the spell between Joshua and Kevin should take down... But the Philip. <laughs> Once Dunan is down, it's the genocide that geriatric. It's a bit stronger than I put it. Are you ready to see General Morgan's S-Craft? Because 100% we're seeing it here, right? Nope. Still gonna hurt a lot. <laughs> General Morgan, man. Hit <laughs> me, you did. I got him back. Alice works now, isn't it, Richard? Yeah, standard attack. Oh my god, did you finish him? Nope. So close, though. Uh, does the matter of healing actually matter before we finish this guy off? I can't remember if we get given everything back before the next fight or not. Let's just do a, yeah, just do a tear all on Richard. The other two can finish the job. Especially because our spells come in first anyway. So it's, it's a guarantee. Let's call it out. It's a guarantee. I could do with more CP on Kev though. So we didn't have to use any Gaia walls. Everything was quite okay. I'll take it. And we get new music to listen to the fight, you know? <laughs> that was only round one. That's that. Let's move out. So now it's the there's lots of bosses, let's combine the bosses. Oh no. Match decided, the winner is Father Graham's team. What's next? Oh, I got a tank! We got the tank! Let's keep up some momentum! 
First allow me to introduce who will be fighting in the second round. In the blue corner, we are led by Father Kevin Graham of the 17 churches. Growls are Standing against them in the red corner, we have the back and deadly than ever, Team or Grail, Mark II. Step on up and ready your weapons as I squeak my chair. So the tank's going to keep running on me. Ready, fight! <laughs> I'm going to be crying when a tank runs me over. Or Grail, Mark II. 80k... Brilliant. A normal tank developed in secret by the old intelligence division, now even stronger. Because you need that. I need a stronger enemy tank. I'm guessing I can't clock down a tank. And I know I can't faint a tank. But I can do quite a bit of damage with tanks. Okay, the critical is going to end up on the speed up, is it? Okay. Can I switch the order a little bit here? Critical ends up on Joshua. That's just going to run Richard down, isn't it? Oh no, machine gun. Alright, we'd like to get Zodiac out ASAP, for the obvious reasons. Strength and defense buff, ridiculousness is always good. To be honest, if he attacks you too, you're getting your CP back, so I can't really hate that. Oh, the clock up ended up on the critical, did it? The amount of blood that sprays when the tank runs over something is terrific. Yes! It's more than a human body. I guess none of our opponents are devils as well. Maybe I should have had Grail figure on his first break. Oh well. Let's keep true to what we do. We beat up a tank. Richard, you are making the perfect tank for this right now. You're tanking the tank incredibly well. Good job. Keep tanking the tank. Thank goodness, indeed. We don't want you to drain out of all your CP as well here, Richard. I've got to say, so... Let's try to clock down the guy? And so Richard attacked 15 more times. Yes, it is stupid. <laughs> We're pretty thankful of Richard. Yes, yeah, very low hanging fruit, isn't it? Yeah, he's a mechanical beast. You can't usually get a lot of debuffs on him. Here's the thing I want to kind of stay above a certain threshold of CP, and now I've got so many attacks in because of my speed ups that. Uh, the problem is here is that I'm going to drain out CP based on that. And of course, I want him to have CP for whatever the next fight is, so he can kill a target fast. Makes perfect sense, right? Maybe it's time to just do some standard attacks. Oh! Going for Ren! not been hit by your weird cannon before. I guess I get Joshua out the way then. Ren! I'm sorry! Whoa! Well, what's in a name, you say? Try cannon seems to uh, un say exactly what's in a name, really. Perfectly fair. <laughs> but she can survive it. She is our lowest HP person, but she survived it. I guess that's all the that matters, right? What are you actually weak to? Nothing? Okay. Can't status affect you. 
We just crashed the tank. Is it gonna move? Jamming missiles? Let's say no one's using arts right now. I'm just beating you up the good old fashioned way. I think you should do damage to the tank here, Kev. Just attack it with your melee, then. I need you to get some CP, and you haven't got a single CP during all of that. Right, we beat the tank! Job done. Got a little bit more CP for Richard by the end of that. And he leveled up, so he's got his health. Everything is good. More power. Match is decided. The winner is Father Graham's team. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Let's keep up this momentum. First, allow me to introduce you will be fighting in the third round. Isn't the third round the final round? What? In the blue corner, we are led by Father Kevin Graham and the 17 Trishes Glauserder. Standing against him in the red corner, we have the deadly martial arts duo, Team Tino. Step up, up and ready your weapons. Ready? Fight! Cry for me. Here we go again, again. So we got, well, the Die Wolf and Killika has less health. I think we should just nuke Killika. Instantly, a target has been prioritized. <laughs> Let's hope they don't all just bust out s crafts and destroy me. I mean, you hurt far enough anyway. I think I should be able to clock down them, shouldn't I? Zodiac, give me my defense buff, please. Let's oh, no! Ha. How many people are you hitting? Everyone! Actually need to heal. <laughs> we have a couple of guys who could probably die. Ren being chief among them. It just depends if he does like he's nearly a melee kill away from like Richard, for example, or like, if he uses his ultimate on Richard, he'll probably kill him. That's what I imagine, anyway. That said, we have gained some extra defense now, so that should mitigate some of the damage. I wonder if I should just get Richard to heal himself quickly. Rather than just back Killika into a corner. Impede? No, we're good. I'm back below the 100 CP threshold. Now I know I've got another battle to go for. Do I change my priorities again in terms of attack target? Because I want to regain CP by the end of this. Oh, what a crit. That's a lot of damage. I 
see what he decides to do. Well, he didn't spark up. It's a good sign. Think that'll kill her? I think a normal attack plus Ren's attack will work perfectly fine. Oh, wow, crit again! No, Richard, you just slay people, it's fine. Okay, resist an ADF down. That makes me assume he could resist clock down as well. I start trying to build again here. I mean, I could definitely build nicely after that Gaia shield goes up. If he's only single target, then essentially a Gaia shield every turn will just mess him up. He won't be able to do anything about things. Oh, you got an HP heal then? Oh, do you hate Joshua at the moment, don't you? I kind of want to get in and attack a bit as well, you know? Take that. Joshua's been taking lumps. I think you need to speed yourself up a bit here, Kev. What if I cast singular earth walls to these guys, really? Let's get that CP churning. We do like 10k damage off of these attacks alone. Uh, maybe I don't want that people that close, though. I don't know. I mean, I could just buff a single earth guard onto him, which would be a lot faster delay-wise. Is it my imagination, or is Walter a bit... Neutered now. We've neutered the wolf. Maybe I don't want to stand in a line though. You never know when attack might come across like that. Oh, we can actually attack it in a range. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't be that close then. I think we've fully neutered this wolf. Oh yeah, clock up yourself. You can go faster. Poor guy. We just backed him into a corner. i beating the crap out of him. Back against the wall. We're continuing to make every one of our players like stronger in some way, shape or form. I feel sorry for him. <laughs> Crazy cool combo. Richard just stands there and smirks. I've got my CP gained up as well, so I'm happy. Take that. Can I just use an Earth Guard before he even gets to attack? No, I can. Okay. I'll do an Earth Wall on him. No, oh, Richard, you can't be over there! Ow! Oh, he's got CP, I guess. I was wondering if he'd attack Joshua instead, maybe, and then he would just fly away. But then he flew away. I'm not sure if I even remember that attack in general. No, 
Maybe I should get a better pair of sh shoes on. This guy, you know? Richard needs to be able to move further than this. Oh, beautiful. I think we've got him. We got him, boys. Poor balls of the neutered wolf. That's that. Let's move out. All right, we don't even get much experience because we are over level. Maybe I don't know. Got a gold gem and a proxy puppet. It's another EP cut. The match is decided. The winner is Father Graham's team. <laughs> the moment of the pot is at last. It is time for the final round to begin. Will our challenges emerge victorious one last time? You won't have to wait long to find out. Let me introduce our final teams. In the blue corner, we are led by Father Kevin Graham and the Septian Church's Growl Shooter. Standing against them in the red corner, we have the strongest and deadliest tag team in history, Team Blades. Step on up and ready your weapon. Ready? Fight! It's time for the music, is it? What if they just S craft me to death? He has an AoE, right? I don't even know what, like, yours was. I can't even remember now. Enforcer number two fells all before him with powerful arts and swordsmanship, and we got Cassius, commander-in-chief of the liberal royal army, he understands the true nature of all things. That's some crazy. Time for the music. I need speed. I have the need for speed. Maybe I want Kevin done this time, yeah. Don't tell me- Oh, I, didn't up, I forgot you had that stupid ability! We need to trap you in a corner, quick! Who do I kill first? Well, he's the nearest. Ow! Pain! <laughs> Obviously I want Zodiac out now for the defense buff as well, but I just feel like I should do this just in case like an S-Craft comes in. But then how do I get Zodiac out if I'm constantly buffing this stuff? That's my problem. Well, it looks like I'm hitting low because I'm next to him and I missed! Alright, no criticals. Joshua will use his ability as soon as we see a crit. Seems I'm pressuring low instead of Cassius. Just how that's things have been out. I mean, we're taking 20k HP. Thanks to Richard being insane Richard man. So that's good. Let's just hope Mr. doesn't somewhere else, please, thank you. I'm gonna approach Cassius because I think that separates the back line and front line. So therefore he can't ping between everyone. That's the prayer. Don't know if that's gonna work. Oh, these crits are gonna be good. You need to kill one ASAP now, Rich. No, he's got a stupid bit. No! Kill the main body! Sever the head of the multi-headed servant! Serpent, serpent, one of them. Who do I do next? HP-wise we're okay, but... 
I need to get more casts off. My CP batteries are running low. Get it? Low? No, it's not really ready. It's wrong. You wave. Actually, if I'm near, he's going to use two luminous will, isn't he? Oops. Another crit! Do I dare cast Zodiac? Obviously, yes. Get ready, get ready, Joshua! Ow! Daddy messed me up! It's a critical just for you. I wish I didn't cast Odin now. I wish I could cast Gaia Wolf. I might use Kevin's next S craft to just use that. Don't need no more bodies! You don't need nobody. <laughs> My HP is draining in a very nasty fashion, I'd like to point out. Do I have to kill the ads? Oh, thank God! One down! Oh, only reaches there? Oh, we should be fine then. For one more turn, he says? Ooh, scary wife! I'm worried about Ren being so low HP, but... He didn't do any special s -graph. Did blow me up a bit. Right, there we go. We can start getting the guy walls up. I'm playing worse. I'm playing death lottery, it feels like. <laughs> Alright then, Cassius, we're coming in. If you want to tap me again? That'd be great. I need some more CP. 8,430? Oh, here we go. Right, Kevin's alive. And the other guys have 22k HP with defense buff. Ren, I don't know if this is everywhere or not. Will Ren live? Oh no, Ren! I think Ren just blew up. Wow. I just lost my Gaia Shield battery. Oh. Do I just get her up? I'm, too, I'm out of range, of course, I'm blooming out of range. No, she's weak. Leave her to dance. Rich is continuing to pressure. Something tells me I should tear all on Richard instead of Matera. Keep going for Cassius! Do I have enough turns? Well, with Richard, I have all the turns. <laughs> I have a never-ending supply of turns because he's a broken character. <laughs> Run! I don't want you to suffer ever again. I don't know what's happened. 
don't say that, that's horrible. It's like legitimately horrible. <laughs> really bad. Fantastic. Alright, time for Richard to go flying away. Oh no, oh, oh no, 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 you can't get faster! That's my job! I'm the one who speeds fast. I can verify he does speed fast. Not near enough? Oh. I'm worried that he might do thing again. And then I'll be in trouble. Oh! Oh, Josh was at 90 HP! <laughs> Hanging on! Just as the big heel comes in, clock up goes over to Ren. We need Guy Wall so fast. <laughs> oh my god! Well, the other way of looking at it is Richard just got a ton of CP again. So we're on the choo choo Richard train again. I don't know if we'll survive if I do that. I don't know if the Choo Choo Richard train is going to live long enough. All aboard the Richard train! Maybe I should have just earth guard Richard to make sure that he survives no matter what when I think about it. Richard, it's all up to you, soldier. Not really. Finish him! But if Joshua didn't survive at 90 HP, I think things could have really went the other way. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Still a ways to go. You just beat Cassius Bright and Low together. I think you should celebrate a little bit. Level ups! Sepith and Vajra plus times one. The match is decided. The winner is Father Graham's team. They've done it. Father Graham's team has conquered the Nightmare Arena. Congratulations to all of you on your victory. I'm not sure what I expected, or that I expected anyone to ever be able to defeat those two, but you exceeded even my most optimistic expectations. I'm astounded to say the least. Please do accept these. You received a soul and 20,000 mirror. I'm afraid there are no more arenas for you to challenge, but should you wish to tell your metal, test your metal against the existing ones again, do come back. Well, until next time, good day to you. By the way, I 100% see an easier way through this because essentially Ren never got to cast any actual offensive spells. She had to just cast Guy Shield. If I had, like, the uh, cast free, the time orb, on her, and because I'm not needing the strength and I'm not needing the ATS, etc., and just cast repeatedly Gaia Shield using that, yeah, it'd probably be super easy. We're just on a really fast character. So I didn't need her to do spell attacks. I just needed her to survive and just cast that so everyone else could survive. But man, Cassius, able to just... Decimate us. What is the Vajra Plus? We got a symbol of evil purging in the east made of an alloy. <laughs> made of an alloy. ADF plus 800. Agility 10, Sprint Seal Mute, Strength 50, Defense 50. Pretty good. Especially because it gives you that much Blooming Spell Defense. It's pretty good. That is all the doors done. 
Well, that is us for that. What is the soul orb? EP is automatically converted to CP during battle. Oh, what? You just put that on Richard, right? Just, just put that on Richard. Let him keep going. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> He'll have endless CP even more. And just keep going, right? You don't need his EP for anything. God, do they just make him more and more overpowered all the blooming time here? Like, do I really need a war gem? Do I really need this gem? You know what I mean? Just give him that. He's already got tons of ADF. Give him that and just let him just wreck people. Oh my goodness. So what we've done is we made Richard even more overpowered than ever before. So, we have every door complete. The abyss is defeated. There's one kind of task I'd still like to do beforehand because of the hints is at least raise up some of these other characters to around that level of like at least 128 or 130-ish. And then there's the choice of two weapons to take as well. But for now, with chapter 8 looming upon us, that is the end of yet another session. Join me next time, as well I have made sure that our characters will be a bit more powerful if it is what I think is going to come next, as we move into chapter 8 properly and fight the final boss, the end of the game. I'll see you then for that. Bye-bye.